John, Sunday marks the start of the Betfred Championship season and the end of pre-season. How do you look back and how has pre-season gone for you and the team? Pre-season has been very tough. Uh, the players have applied themselves very well. Uh, we've got what we wanted to get out of pre-season. Uh, so I'm pretty confident that we'll play well uh, this coming Sunday. On the eve of the first regular game, how are the emotions? Is the nerves, excitement, a mixture of both? I think at this moment in time, what all we're trying to do is make sure that we've we've covered all bases with regard to our opposition. Because in pre-season, you're very much looking inwards at yourselves and what you're you're, you're trying to achieve yourselves, and then uh, obviously trying to in the trial games just improve in certain areas as you go along and decide the combinations that you you, you need. But then obviously once the, the championship season starts, it's a lot about the, the outcome and uh, that involves obviously factoring in the opposition as well as what selection, selection that we make and that's what we've been doing. We've been really looking at the two games Jewelsbury have played in, uh, in pre-season, uh, having a stab at, uh, at doing what Lee Greenwood will be doing which is which 17 he'll send out and then obviously looking at the at the players that they use, the defensive structure etc to, to try and pick out what they're good at and also where we can exploit them. Obviously after the start to the 2021 season how important is it to you know get off to a good start this summer? Yeah well we, we got six out of seven I think in the, yeah, after seven, the, Sheffield, yeah, after the yeah. Sheffield game but uh, I'd certainly I don't want to have to go through that again because uh, that really did shock us, but uh, I think after seven games, that settled for six out of seven. Yeah. So uh, you know, but we we just need to build, keep building, and building for on on Sunday would obviously be playing well, but coming away with the result as well. Are you pleased with how the side, the new boys who've come in, the young lads, how everyone's gelled together? Yeah, I am. I'm delighted. I, th I think the young uh, young lads have, have added something to the squad. I think the the incomers, the players that we brought in, have added things into the squad. And I also think that uh, the experienced players, the ones who've been, the ones who've been here, really have, have, have gone forward and, and have, have gone to another level. So I'm expecting to, us to have a good season, but obviously we need to kickstart that with a good performance and a, and a result on Sunday. You know what you get when you go to the Tetley Stadium. Obviously it's a stadium we know well, a small tight pitch, the crowd on top of you, Jews be a really plucky but skillful outfit at the same time will work really hard. Yeah, I think... It seems to be in the DNA of the culture of uh, of the Jewelsbury Club that every team that they assemble there are, are tough, aggressive, hard working, and don't go away. And uh, they're not bad characteristics to have either. So that's what we're expecting from them. We know full well they've got some real quality as well with like Knowles in the second row. And you know I, I'm still expecting Paul Sykes to play, although they keep telling me he's cover. I'm still expecting him to play in the in the halves. We obviously know a lot about Reese Butterworth, Andy Gabriel on, on the wings. Are, you know, is a dangerous finisher. So they've they've got some quality there as well. But they've got those characteristics running through the DNA, and we know full well if we're going to go there and win, we're going to have to work harder than them. We're going to have to be equally as tough as them, and we're going to have to make sure that when we we're, we're, we're struggling a bit and we're behind the the black ball, that we've got the resilience to come out the other side. What can you tell us about the players who'll make up your 21-man squad? Well, basically, I mean, obviously, it'll be revealed uh, on, on, on the Friday and uh, I think there'll be some exciting names in there. Uh, two of the Leeds lads will, will be in there, so I, I think people can anticipate the, the type of team will be turning out. But, you know, as with everybody at this, you know, pre-season does take its toll on certain players and, and there will be one or two who won't be out there and, and that's the reason why. And just finally, obviously, a massive crowd at Odds on Sunday. Looks like a lot of them will be coming over to Dewsbury on Sunday. It'll be a, a real positive fee, almost a home from home with that away support, you know, cheering you on and pushing you that extra 2%. Yeah, I think it's marvellous what, uh, you know, what the crowd was against Leeds. I mean, 7,000 for a, a pre season game. I'm, I, the only time that was beaten was when I was at Hull and they played Hull and I think it was the first derby that they had for about three years and it was absolutely, you know, you were well into the five figures so, but 7,000 for a pre-season game is absolutely outstanding and, and obviously I think in the first half they were royally entertained, uh, the second half they may have been disappointed but they certainly saw some, some good young players putting the best foot forward, you know, some for the first time. So we got a lot out of, of Sunday and, and I'd be delighted if, if we take 
half that following to, to Jewelsby because it will, as you rightly point out, Luke, it will make it a home from home.